Hello, Level by Level Gaming here, and this is going to be another video on my PAPK3 Plus series. Now, the reason for this video is somebody on my YouTube channel, Level by Level Gaming, asked, was I able to get arcade games to work on this and add them to it? Because apparently they had uh, no problems with their Super Nintendo and Nintendo games, but for whatever reason they couldn't get the arcade games to work. So this is the video that is the solution to that if you're having that problem. Now, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to make sure that you have your PAPK3 Plus connected to the PC and that you're able to view these root files here that are on the device. Um, if you're having problems connecting just go to my video series and you will see the won't connect solved video under my playlist under tech review and you'll be able to see how to connect this to your computer if you have problems. So um, once you can get into that go to your game file and you will see cps that stands for capcom play system what i understand about this device is the emulator that it uses is compatible with cps1 and cps2 i don't know if it's compatible with cps3 i haven't checked i've only used it with cps1 and cps2 games so you go into cps here and you'll see two types of files you'll see a dot fba which stands for final burn alpha which is the emulator that this thing uses and you'll also see zip files and it is capable of running the dot fbas and also running the zip files now for whatever reason some games work just fine as zip files and some work just fine as FBA some won't work as a zip file and some you can't get to convert to an FBA so I'll cover all of that just remember you're going to be using .FBA files and also zip files in this directory here under Capcom play system so once you're device is connected and you're able to read it here you're going to want to go to your search engine whichever you choose and you're going to want to look for cps1 roms now i'm not going to promote any specific uh depot here there's lots of them you have your standard ones will pop up immediately, your Emu Paradise, your cool ROMs, um, love ROMs, free ROMs. There's just a lot of these that will pop up. Just pick one that you use frequently that you trust and make sure you're going to their CPS1 or you can use their CPS2 ROMs. A lot of them have uh, support or they have the ability to get either one of these. So once you grab whatever ROMs you want to test or try, you can go, I just for simplicity created a file on my desktop here called CPS. I grabbed a couple different games here. You have uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is the world version of the ROM, and it is for CPS 1. And I also have X-Men Children of the Atom, and this is the European version of the ROM, and that is your CPS 2. For whatever reason, I couldn't quite get the U.S. versions of these ROMs to work correctly, but the European and world versions of these two ROMs work just fine. So just play with it and figure out which ones you can get to work and which ones you can't. So once you do that, you're going to also get this FBA cache zip file, and I'm going to add the Dropbox link to that on my descriptions. If for whatever reason you can't get it off of that, you're just wanting to Google the FBA cache.exe download and pull that from another reputable site that you trust just to get your executionable file. But like I said, I will have the link to this in my Dropbox on the description so you can get it directly from my site. So once you have some ROMs that you're going to test and your FBA cache and you have them somewhere where you can find them, you're going to go into your file system here. Uh, let me go, just go back to here. Um, actually, let me back up. Let me explain something a little bit better here. Just so you don't run into the problem I did of not being able to find exactly what you're looking for, pull up your command prompt. 
Now, when you go to command prompt um, and you pull up this DOS style part here, mine natively goes to C user TC room. So for simplicity, what I do is I go to my file system here and I go into that uh, let me see if I can find it here. I don't already have it pulled up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local disk C users TC room and that is the same directory that pulls up on my command prompt here C users TC room. Yours might be different T or users and then this is just what I have set up as our utility PC room here TC room so once you get into that directory you're going to want to add a file create a new file and you're going to want to name that FBA and once you have that then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your your zip file here I'm going to extract it and why not I'll go ahead and just extract it here now you'll see that I have this here and it has the executionable file here the .exe file and also has another directory that's empty called ROMs you're gonna to want to grab those um, actually just just copy them I don't want to cut them you're going to want to copy them and you're going to want to go back to that directory that you created that TC room for me or wherever this root file is here you're going to want to go into there and you're going to want to put a copy of those into there now in that file you'll have a FBA cache and you'll have a empty file called ROMs so if I go back here to my ROMs that I want to try I can put those directly into that file that I created here so here is the empty ROMs go ahead and just place those in there so now I have two games that I want to try so what I found from trial and error is this game works just fine as a zip file and this game actually needs to be converted into a .fba in order for the device to operate it. So in order to convert this file into a .fba and it works for any one of these games that you want to try, you're going to want to go back to your command prompt and right here where it has TC room you're going to want to type in CD for change directory space and FBA so what that's going to do it is going to tell it to go into now it is in that FBA file now there is a command that you're going to want to type I'll also just for ease I will put it in my description so you can just copy and paste if you don't want to type it out so you're going to want to go to F B A cash C A C H E and your space the dash here the small dash or negative whatever you want to call it D space and then you're going to want to put your ROM name in here whatever the game was so under your game let's go for XMCOTA which is children of the atom so XMCOTA dot zip Z I P now once you have that typed in you're going to hit enter you're going to see it go through a, a whole list of operations here loading and executing um, whatever that is doing to it and once it gets done with all these just you're going to want to see a lot of okays right here you're not if you see something that says failed or um, 
something that tells you something went wrong, then you're either going to have to try it again or find another ROM. But this one says it was dumped okay. So once it goes to that, now I have the .fba file. So it converted this zip file into a .fba file. Now with ghouls, if I run that whole process, it says okay, but for whatever reason it doesn't kick out a .fba file. So you're really just going to have to trial and error it. Fortunately this game works fine as a zip file and this game works as a .fba and that's just really going to be trial and error here. So once I have these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab a copy of these two games. I'm going to go back to my um, root file for my PAPK here, go into the CPS, and as you can see, these are none of these games were on here, the ones I just copied. So let's just go ahead and paste them back in there. Let it go through its process here. It's going to take a few seconds. five seconds remaining and bam now you should have those two they'll show up at the very bottom because they're not numbered or whatever so now I have the .fba and I have the zip file here what I'm going to do from that point is I'm going to cut off the uh, PAPK3 I'm going to uh, show you guys finding it and cutting it on and playing it so we should be successful now okay now we've got the ROMs placed into the file system here so you go into your games you go into your CPS files and you can see we have the ghouls and we have the uh, children of the atom and the one is the .fba and one is the zip. So let's just go with the zip file here. It's going to go through a process, the emulator, and I don't know if it's because this game does this or because of the way I put the zip file in there, but it has to go through a process. Not all zip files show this whole checking the RAM, uh, going through these different scrolls or whatever but with this game it just goes through some of its checks you'll see a bunch of okays and then the ROM will start and there you have it so that is ghouls and ghosts we'll enter some coins in here and press start just to show you that the ROM is functioning and there you have it ghouls and ghosts for the arcade and it's actually one of my favorite ports to the Super Nintendo. It is extremely hard, it's notoriously hard, um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. So anyways, you have that CPS1 file working. So let's quit here and we will go to the XCOM here, or not XCOM, but uh, the X-Men Children of the Atom. Once we go into Children of the Atom, it's a .fba. It doesn't have to go through all that. It just immediately goes into the ROM here. So there you have it. X-Men Children of the Atom. So we have successfully, let's enter some coins, and you have a working ROM. And how could you not go with Wolverine? So, let it go through here just to prove to you that it is working. We have a working ROM. All right, so I'm just going to exit out of this so it isn't playing over me in the background. But there you have it. So if you had problems with your arcade games, um, your CPS1 and your CPS2, that is the way to get around that. Now this also does Neo Geo and the process is similar. So if you have problems with your Neo Geo games, just hit me up in the comments and I will specifically address those in another video. So 
Thank you for watching. And this has been Level by Level Gamer. If this video has been helpful to you, please like, follow, and subscribe uh, to my channel. And check out the other videos on this cool little handheld device if you haven't done so already.